the origin story of the Hello Greeting. Early Uses As early as the 18 October 1826 issue of the Norwich Courier in Norwich, Connecticut, the word hello was written with that spelling in periodicals in the United States. The sketches and eccentricities of Colonel David Crockett of West Tennessee, an American book published in 1833, was another early example. It was reprinted in the London Literary Gazette the same year. By the 1860s, the word was widely employed in the literature. Etymology Hello, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, is a modification of hollow hollow, which is derived from Old High German and means to fetch and was specifically used to hail ferrymen. Additionally, it ties the evolution of hello to the impact of an earlier form, hola, whose root is French hola, roughly translated as woe there, from the word there in French. The term can be spelled with any of the five vowels since in addition to hello, hollow, 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 and rarely, hello also exist as variations or related words. Telephone Thomas Edison is credited with inventing the phrase hello for telephone greetings. One story claims that he mistakenly said hello to show his surprise. Ahoy, as used on ships, was Alexander Graham Bell's first choice for a phone greeting. But in 1877, Edison sent the following to T.B.A. David, the head of Pittsburgh's Central District and Printing Telegraph Company. Due to the connection between the greeting and the telephone, Central Telephone Exchange operators came to be known as Hello Girls by 1889. Hello. Hello, which the American Merriam-Webster Dictionary characterizes as a chiefly British variation of hello, may have been the source of the word hello. Hello was initially used as an exclamation to draw attention to something, to indicate surprise, or to greet someone. As early as 1803 writings contain references to hello. The phrase hello still has the meaning hello, hallo and hollow. Hallo literally translates to hello in English in numerous Germanic languages, including German, Danish, Norwegian, Dutch, and Afrikaans. In a letter to his sister-in-law from Willem Bilderdijk, it was first used in Dutch as an expression of surprise in 1797. The word hallo, 1840, via hollow, is another theory as to whence the word hello originated, also hola, hollo, hallo, hello. Hollow's origin is traced to Old English hello, according to Webster's Dictionary from 1913, which also makes the following suggestion. Perhaps from a plus lo, compare Anglo-Saxon eel. Hallo is a shortened version of the archaic holla, stop, possibly derived from Old French hola, ho, ho, plus la there from Latin nilac that way. The word hollow is defined as a shout or an exclamation that was first used during a hunt when the target was spotted. This is according to the American Heritage Dictionary. According to Fowler, the phrase hallow was first used in 1864 as a cry to summon attention. The ultimate origin of the word may be the Old English verb plan. It appears in the well-known poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, which was published in 1798. Plan is perhaps a cognate of other terms of Germanic origin that are comparable to Heil, which means complete for things and healthy for beings. In his book Mother Tongue, Bill Bryson claims that the word hello is derived from the Old English hell beowu, hail be thou, or hold be thou, meaning a wish for good health, seth, goodbye, which is a contraction of God be with ye. What were the greetings people used before hello? What could one anticipate to say as a greeting before the invention of the telephone, if the phrase hello only became widely used recently? The typical greeting used by pilgrims in America during the 17th century was good morrow, or how now? Instead of hello, how are you? Use how do you fare, or what cheer? But that's a big departure from hello. Hail was the word people used from the Middle Ages through Shakespeare's period that was most akin to hello such as hail, keezer. This has its roots in the Old Norse term hail, which means health in English. Either good health or holiness seems like a very kind thing to wish someone you are greeting. But the crucial query is still open. But why do we introduce ourselves upon picking up the phone? 
common myths around why we say hello on phone. Let's start by dispelling any myths we might have acquired online. According to rumors, the common greeting originated because Alexander Graham Bell's fiancée at the time of patenting the idea had that name. She allegedly married the inventor later. Did this imply that the full name of his wife was Hello Bell? I'm sure not. Others contend that Alexander Graham Bell was honoring a girlfriend when he selected the standard response to a phone call. According to rumors, this girlfriend's name was Margaret Hello. When we answer the phone, we supposedly do it as a sign of affection. Despite how intriguing it may sound, this stupid story has no merit. This rumor is not supported by any historical evidence. It was just made up by someone. What was said during the first phone call? You might be a little let down if you're curious about what was spoken to the first person Alexander Graham Bell called, because a greeting wasn't necessary. A ring wasn't present. The initial conversation was brief. So why do we say hello when answering the phone? Through the 19th century, the phrase hello started to gain popularity as a greeting, but it wasn't until the invention of the telephone that its future was assured. Although it is still debatable if Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he is credited with coming up with a standard phone greeting. Woo, Theodore Edison. The phone wasn't designed to be a ringing gadget, you see. It was anticipated to be an open channel of business contact between the two parties. A greeting would need to be spoken if the caller wanted the person on the other end of the line to know they would like to speak. Ahoy! was Graham Bell's suggestion for an ancient marine salutation. He felt so strongly about Ahoy, in fact, that he continued to use it throughout the remainder of his life. Thomas Edison, a rival, believed that hello was a superior choice and advised callers to use that word while responding. In addition to providing advice on phone etiquette, the first telephone book, published in New Haven, Connecticut, USA, in 1878, also featured a how-to section. It advised the readers to call someone back with a firm and happy hello, according to the article. Edison's preferred greeting had prevailed by 1880. Hello World Computer Program Beginner programmers who are learning a new computer language frequently start by creating a Hello World program that does nothing but greets the user with the phrase hello world, such as by displaying it on a screen. In many computer languages, it has been used since the first programs. This custom gained more traction once it was mentioned in an introductory chapter of Kernighan and Ritchie's book, The C Programming Language. An illustration from Brian Kernighan's Bell Laboratories letter from 1974 was utilized in the book. That's all for today's origin story video guys, tell us your thoughts in the comment section, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what origin story you'd like to learn about next in the comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video, until then, best wishes.